in this video we'll look at how to decode the ethernet header now uh, let's open up the program sniffer underscore eth dot c let's go to the main function now the difference between this program and the previous one sniffer dot c is that we are trying to decode the ethernet header of the packet which we receive from the raw socket apart from that there is no difference between the two programs so as you can see the whole flow is the same we create the raw socket we bind it to the interface get the number of packets and start sniffing exactly the same even the codes the lines everything is the same now we come here packets to sniff receive from where we get the packet let's see if you got the packet successfully then we print the packet in hex just as in the previous case but now we also parse the ethernet header now parse ethernet header is a function which we look into a little later that takes as input the packet buffer and the length of the packet let's first try and run this program and see the output similar to the previous program it takes the interface eth0 and the number of packets let's put it as one right now as input now just as previously the packet is dumped in hex but now additionally the destination mac the source mac and the protocol all these three things are also dumped now if you look at it closely this is nothing but the ethernet header right please also look at the page in which i mentioned the ethernet header in detail the first field is the destination mac the second field is the source mac and the third field is the protocol destination mac is 6 bytes 1 2 3 4 5 & 6 same as the source mac and the protocol field is 2 bytes and if you notice then this is nothing but the destination mac in the hex stump of the packet this is nothing but the source mac and this is nothing but the protocol field so as we can see that the first 14 bytes is the ethernet header which we have decoded now and have presented in a more intelligible fashion to the user now let's go and look a little deeper into the program the function of interest as we have already seen for this uh, particular program is parse ethernet header this is the function here parse ethernet header takes in the packet as input an unsigned character pointer and length so what does it do the first thing which it does is defines a pointer to a structure eth hdr that is eth header now the question is where is this structure defined once again we can either go check out the include file linux if underscore ether dot h this is the place where the ethernet header is defined as we can see the first member is h underscore destination second is h underscore source which is uh, the destination and source mac addresses and the third is h underscore proto eth underscore len would be 6 for ethernet so this is the structure which we are talking about
So now we have defined a pointer to a structure of type ETH header. The reason being that as we had noticed in our output that the first 14 bytes of the packet is nothing but the Ethernet header. So what we do is first we do a check if the size of the packet is at least you know greater than the Ethernet header because if it's not then anyway we cannot get enough data to decode the Ethernet header. If it is true then what we do is we cast the packet right as that of an Ethernet header so that we can do the decoding. See this is the most important step of parsing here. What we are actually doing is we are telling our program that now we want to decode the packet or at least the first couple of bytes as of the packet as an Ethernet header. Right? So now we can actually point to the Ethernet header arrow h underscore destination and what this would contain is the first six bytes of the packet because we can see that the ethernet header structure itself contains the first six bytes as the destination mac the second six bytes as the source mac and the next two bytes as the protocol so if you print this you would actually get the destination mac we are using a new function called print in hex this is nothing but going to print this up to six bytes in hex we look at that function in a moment it's a simple function which takes in a pointer to a character uh, which takes in a message first which is to be displayed and then a pointer to an unsigned character and the length it has to print so what we do is we just run over the length print the unsigned character the message is nothing but a small string which says destination mac then we know that the second set of bytes is nothing but the source map. We have seen this right in the output. We actually saw that this was nothing but the destination Mac. Now the next six bytes is nothing but the source Mac. Which we print using ethernet header hyphen source. And then the last two bytes of the ethernet header is nothing but the protocol. Note that because the protocol is a short int, we pass a pointer to it. In the other previous cases, it automatically because it's an array, we are already passing a pointer to it. So this is how the decoding of headers is done. Basically, we get the packet and we cast that packet into the appropriate header type. Right? So what happens this is the most important statement i'm emphasizing on this once again is that we are casting the packet into the ethernet header type so that the first 14 bytes of this packet array would now be interpreted as an ethernet structure and this would be done using this pointer So now let's go back to the main function and see what's happening. So after we print the packet in hex, we go ahead and pass the ethernet header. Once again, let's compile it and run it. So now the point is, what is this destination map? If you do an if config ETH zero, we'll actually find that the destination Mac is nothing but the host's address. The source Mac is actually another computers which is sending data to this to our host. Protocol 0800 is nothing but IP. We'll look into this in the next uh, video in which we'll decode the IP header. So what we are trying to do here is do a step by step decoding. First we'll decode the Ethernet header as in this example. The next example will decode both the Ethernet as well as the IP header. And then in the next example the TCP header as well and finally the data. So with this uh, I would like to conclude this short programming exercise. Uh, the best way you can derive the advantage is by trying and writing this program by yourself without looking into my code and then modifying it accordingly 
to try and display various other things thank you